Once a booming financial hub, the city of Chester is saddled in a revolving debt that demands immediate attention. The latest discussion to find a solution involves disbanding the city altogether, but the mayor of Chester is pushing back on that idea. Action News reporter Trish Hartman following the story. She's live at City Hall in Chester with more. Trish. Well, that's right, Shari. The mayor today pushed back against the state's appointed team who recently said that disincorporation was a real possibility for the city. Now, the state has said that the situation is urgent. There's a very real threat that the city could run out of money. Mayor Thaddeus Kirkland held a news conference in Chester City Hall today, pushing back against the state appointed receiver assigned to work with the city back in 2020. How could anyone be expected to continue to work with a team that even mentions the possibility of dismantling and dividing the city through disincorporation. Last week, the state's team gave a sobering update, saying a solution needs to be reached by the end of the year to avoid the worst case scenario, disincorporation. The city of Chester would cease to exist as a city. Uh, it would not have any municipal uh, elected officials, um, and instead it would be an unincorporated um, service district. Today, the mayor called that suggestion a fear tactic, saying the state's team has not been responsive to other ideas. The receiver is not appointed to dictate, take control, total control, or force the city to do things that are against its best interests. In the midst of the financial woes, <laughs> A waterfront development project is moving forward with the groundbreaking of a $55 million sports complex next to Subaru Park. Chester City officials say this project is largely funded by sponsors and other entities and should not be affected by the current financial difficulties. The mayor says he has inherited financial woes created by previous administrations, and he plans to meet with state lawmakers and the governor to ask for assistance from the state's surplus. This mayor and members of council will be visiting Harrisburg to find out how we get our share of that $8 billion that sits in Harrisburg. Now we spoke to the state's receiver today. He called the mayor's comments false and inflammatory. He says the priority now is moving the bankruptcy process forward in court so the city can try to pass a budget for next year, adding that disincorporation is a last resort. Reporting live in Chester, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Greg Shari. All right. Thank you, Trish.